Sure. You ready? You ready to do this video? Hey man, let's do it. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh man, it's late night. Been a long day. Uh, but guess what? We still got a fun one for you though. All right, we're gonna just give you a nice little different variation of a hack squat, okay? Not your, 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 just your traditional hack squat, but we're gonna do a different variation um, in order to target a specific muscle, all right? So let's get to it. You pretty much got two different type of hack squat, all right? So you got your more, you got your more modern uh, vertical hack squat, okay? And then come over here, then you got more of a traditional hack squat. Um, I know most, a lot of, a lot of gyms ha have this, have this, um, this uh, particular equipment. Um, and it's phenomenal too. I mean, it really targets the, uh, the lower part of your quads, you know, kind of give you that full look, you know. Um, but that's what, guess what though? I'm gonna show you different variation with this. This is pretty cool. You can do a lot of variation with this hack squat, all right? So, for the most part, this is mostly your traditional stance, okay? You would come mostly here, shoulder width apart. Now, you can do other uh, uh, technique with it too. You can come here closer, okay? So the closer the feet is, the more you can target the other, other quads, all right? And then if you come in more, you treat it more like, you know, like a ballerina. So it goes typically like that. You call it the old time flats. You come up, you squeeze your quads, all right? And it's pretty cool. Like I said, there's a lot of different vari variation you can do with this. Also, um, you can do um, you can do side squat with those, like side leg squat. Um, the target just a single leg. So um, instead of coming like here together, you can come individual like that. You see, and um, depends on where you want to place your feet. Um, you can keep it more quad, or you can kind of hit more quad and hamstring just by coming down like that and squeezing your quads with hamstring. All right. Also, um, it's another. This is this is pretty cool too. Um, I typically won't say do this the very first time when you get on one of these machines because sometimes uh, you got to be careful. Like I said, you know, safety is the, is the key, all right? But I've been doing this particular movement for, for quite some time now, so I'm, um, I'm pretty much kind of used to the movement now. But you may want to have like a spotter or somebody kind of assist you on this movement, okay? So what I usually do, if I said I want to target just that typical area, like the quads area, like the other sweep, so to speak, what I'll do is, I come sideways like this, okay? Just sideways. And what I'll try to do is, I'll try to get very comfortable underneath here, all right? So I wanna have my shoulder blades kind of resting against these two um, platforms here for your shoulders, all right? What I usually do is, I'll come up, I'll take these apart. Now you gotta be careful with that feet, that inner, Foot, that leg, you want to put that out, okay? So you're going to put that out or you're going to turn mostly here, okay? Now notice, notice, I'm not out like that because if I'm out like that, I'm gonna, I want to target my hamstring. The goal is to target the quads, okay? So the more you bring your feet in, okay, the more you're going to target more quads, all right? And all you're going to do, you're going to come down, here, come up, squeeze. 
again. Come up. Squeeze. All right. So that outside leg sometimes, that leg, you may want to just use for, for a little support. But you don't want that leg to do the full workout. Okay? You don't want this leg to work too as well. You want to keep all the tension on that leg. And also you can do it this way too as well. Do it that way too as well. Same thing. All right? Um, also, um, you can also use this face it too. Like your face can be deadly platform against this, against that platform too as well. You can do like RDLs, um, you can do like reverse um, high squats to it as well. Demonstration. So, um, if you want to do like some RDLs on here, now like I said, I recommend you guys um, have somewhat of a spotter um, if you guys are not used to the movement, okay? Um, but like I said, I've been doing this for quite some time now, so I'm pretty much kind of, you know, I'm used to it, okay? So, first we're gonna start off with the RDLs, all right? So what you wanna do is, you wanna put that, your feet slightly about toward the end of this line here, but you want your toes to be about red dead center on that line, okay? So, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get more glute and hamstring activation, okay? So, what I'll do is, I'll pop up, okay? I want to keep my feet about the inside shoulder width, okay? I want to keep my head slightly up, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, keep my knee about, uh, about 90 degrees, all right? All right, here we go. Come down. guys that's the video remember like the video comment down below and remember train hard stay dedicated i'm out